Welcome to another episode of Just One Fern. As you can tell, I have my voice back. Thank God. We have a really great episode for you today. Later on, we have Spencer Hendricks on. A uh, great interview with him. Right now, not a lot going on for me. I was uh, this weekend, I went to a, uh, a, a baseball game here, the Nashville Sounds. That was very fun. Um, nice. You know, it was the only problem was is that this weekend, I don't know how it was in New York, it was scorching hot here. It yes, was it was very hot here as well. Insane. I was and when I went to this baseball game, I was like, please God, don't let me be in the sun. And of course I'm directly in the fucking sun. <laughs> so I was like dying of sweat the entire time. I don't know how I made it. But did you get a hot dog? Did you get a ballpark dog? I did not. You know why? Because baseball games are super long. Like the hot dogs. Like the hot dogs. And since I have my tea thing that I'm doing, That's right. it, I, I didn't want to bring everything into the fucking stadium. So I was like, I'll just. Yeah. Well, do you I'll have to like beforehand. clean your teeth after? Yeah. You You're supposed to. Um, that's lame. I know. But yeah. That's, so not not much has happened with me this week. It was just off. really, really hot. What did you say? You melted your face off. Well, correct. Yes, that's exactly what I did. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what happened in my week. Nothing big to get into. But you. I had a big week. I had a big <laughs> week. You had a very big week. And you got just dive right into it. All right. So um, this weekend, mm -hmm. after our last episode, I went to Maine with my girlfriend, Cassie. We know Cassie. We know Cassie. Uh, she likes to be shout out. Shout out, Cassie. Shout out to CP. A shit What's out. Up? What's up, babe? Say. I, um, that needs to end. <laughs> <laughs> that can never happen again on my show. Okay, continue. <laughs> our show. Our show. I know. Our show, because um, my name's my it last won't name be is just one. If you keep your doing last that, name is so. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So yeah, I went to I went to meet the old, uh, the 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 ancestors, the mm -hmm. grandparents. Yeah, um, they're very very sweet, very nice people, up okay. in Maine. Um, very white family, very white family. Yeah, well, uh, it's Maine, and they had a really good potato salad. Uh, very white thing. A very uh, white thing. It was one of the first times, and I'm not, I'm white, mm -hmm. but it was one of the first times I thought about how white am I? Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I am white, but you're making, you're saying that a lot, and I feel like you're just now realizing, oh, I'm a very white man. <laughs> no, I know that. But what I'm saying is like, like in oh my, comparison, oh, oh my God, you can go much whiter. And I you're didn't right. realize. You can go much wider. Yes. Uh, Maine and exists. So does Alaska. It was, it was nice. It reminded me of my mom's side of the family, you know? Yeah. Um, and we went to the beach in Maine, and it was very hot out, like you said. Mm -hmm. And the water was frigid. Well, that's like, not surprising. Cassie went in up to her knees. She's like, yeah, it's fine. I'm I'm not kidding. Mm -hmm. I, I got a, a foot, like the bottom of my foot got in, and I mm -hmm. shuddered. It was <laughs> like, like I that. just I, like that. I screamed like a little girl and she made a lots of fun of me like she should have. Yeah. But why they exist? Water, if you're going to be that cold. <laughs> so, so I have a little bit water. of a gripe with Mother Nature. <laughs> I got a water I got a real do. problem with water. I I mean, <laughs> they have just we, been too much mm, recently. Too cold mm. when it's hot. Yes, thank you. We Which is be crazy because, like you know, if it's really, really hot, don't you want the water to be a little cold? I'm not kidding. It was so hot. It was so hot. I would have gone. I would tell you that I would go in any water. That is water I would not go into. Wow. It so cold. it was really cold. It was like. Arctic it was cold. as cold as it was hot, if that makes sense. That makes sense. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for. Thank you for sticking with me on it that. It took me a second there. But yeah, yeah, so I'm well, I'm glad that this weekend you figured the out. The weekend that you was were, good. You were white. Um that that's really helpful. Wow. Well, I knew <laughs> um <laughs> I Yeah, it was, like... a, it was a real it was a big discovery weekend. <laughs> it was a big <laughs> I, learned I learned a lot, a lot about, about myself. myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, but but it was awesome. It was very very cool. I'm happy. That sounds out. very nice. It sounds but like it was a the great. The rest weekend. of my week mm -hmm. continued with with water theme with the water theme. Yes. Um, yes so Aaron got this video. Mm -hmm. uh, I went. Uh, my parents are gone, and I went 
to the bathroom. But I went mm-hmm. to the upstairs bathroom because there's a scale in there. And as we all know, your boy is trying to lose a little bit of the LBs, mm-hmm. right? Um, mm-hmm. So I went up there. I found the scale. I was walking up to it. And I thought I saw something out of the corner of my eye. And I look. And I see something move. Its head goes like this. And w- <laughs> and wouldn't you know it, there was a chipmunk in the toilet. Just, this is real. Just fucking crazy. There's a chip, at, and it's moving around like scratch. Like, how yeah. does a chip bucket in the toilet? Yeah, I, 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 once again, I screamed like a little girl. Mm-hmm. I shut the door, and then I, and all the animals came up, like my cat, my dog, and they're like, "Yeah, we know. We've been trying to tell you." <laughs> and I'm like, "I don't speak dog. I'm sorry." <laughs> and I had to like walk around for five minutes, like, because <sighs> that's the last, yeah. the last thing you expect is for. Uh, the turd to move in the toilet correct and look at you yes lucas um, when you sent me the video originally the first second i opened it i was like oh he sent a video of of poop nope it's moving that is a chipmunk. <laughs> that is a chipmunk in the toilet yeah yep. what is happening uh how it got in there i don't mm-hmm. know i have no clue uh, yeah how does it get in there like i don't know <laughs> did it somehow like get into the the pipe and swim up that was my first thought but then I th- my cat brings in animals all the time. That might that's probably why. He's he's a villain. He's a murderous villain mm-hmm. to the outdoor community. Yeah. But I'm <laughs> thinking I'm thinking this thing was running around. He saw some water. He's like, "Damn, I'm a little thirsty. I'm going to get a drink." And um he got a bit more than he asked for. I feel like but how did I just... My second thought was to flush him. And I <laughs> I didn't do well, that. Well, that's the thing, Lucas. You this story ends with you being a savior. I do the right thing here, mm-hmm. Aaron. Um, you know, I learned my lesson from watching that man die outside of yep. the school. Outside of the school. Um, where you did nothing to help. I did I, d- I ate potato chips. You ate potato chips. But hey, it was a good show. It was lunch and a show. <laughs> it was a great Pretty good. show. Aaron, you can't ask for much more than you really dinner and a can't. movie. You can't. It's uh, a, a nice matinee. I love that. <laughs> Half price. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I at seeing that the water was dirty, I assumed that this was a very dirty animal, mm-hmm. uh, just from being in the water. So I put on some gloves because, mm-hmm. you know, they can bite. And yeah. I went, I grabbed a towel mm-hmm. and I scooped the little sucker up with the towel and he went limp. I think this guy thought he just got eight. Uh, <laughs> he was like, everything went <laughs> This is it. He was like, This is the end for me. I was safe in the <laughs> toilet and now I'm not safe. Right. And everything got dark for him and like warm and he was still wet. Yeah. And then I brought him outside and I put him on our porch and I closed the door. And then I opened up the the towel and he just looked around for a second, just breathing, panicked. I think he thought he was still eight. I think he just got he thought, thought he just he got was, shit out. He was in heaven. He was like, I am I is this the afterlife? Like he really <laughs> thought this was he had died. He had just been God? killed. God. Imagine being more terrified in the towel though than being in the toilet. Like so the towel's nice and comfy, man. I'm telling you. He was he's wrapped up good. It's a comfortable towel. Um we know you're not we, buying dollar store towels, Lucas. Oh no, this was the worst towel I could find. This was a dollar store towel, everyone. I would just like <laughs> I just said. This is Lucas <laughs> buys dollar store towels. <laughs> well, I didn't want to use like a nice one of my mom's like nice towels. Yeah, for the toilet. no, that would that would have been bad for she sure. She wouldn't have liked that. Yeah, but he didn't move for like twenty minutes until my mom came home. And as we know, my mom uh, used to be a vet, mm-hmm. um, so she was like, she just dealt with these things a lot. And she goes outside. She's <laughs> she like, dealt oh, with, she dealt with a lot of chipmunks in the toilet. They're they're <laughs> a lot more Classic. than you think. When you know the trauma that comes after swimming, then being picked mm-hmm. up by a giant man. Uh, one out of every five chipmunks finds itself in the toilet at some point in its life. It's true. This is this is a statistic from the census, yes. the U.S. census. Um, it's just, it, but can't even speak. But she she went outside and um, she took the towel and she just she dried the little guy off. It was very That's sweet. Very moment. nice. That's very nice. Um, and then he was like, "Oh, it, do you know? Oh, you know what it reminds me of? Is you know? Have you seen 101 Dalmatians? Yes." You know that really sad part where they the they give birth to all these puppies and one of them's dead. Yes, which is and they're like which is absurd like, for a Disney movie. 
absolutely crazy. And, which is ridiculous. And then the 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 man comes out and he picks up the dog and he just goes he rubs him between his hands like a yeah. lot and somehow he comes back to life. Yeah. That's what my mom did with this chipmunk. That's amazing. She has a, I guess it's not a green thumb but a a brown thumb? That sounds gross. <laughs> Get, get back on the screen, all right? Get the, well. I think we've had <laughs> enough of looking at the chipmunk. But all right. uh, I feel but then like, he ran off and he was fine. Well, that's good. Uh, I, I think it's funny though. Like he probably got brought in by your cat, and now he's back in the wild where the cat can get him again. And it's just like <laughs> he's gonna. He'll be. You'll find. You'll find him again. He'll. He'll be yeah. back. He really liked that toilet. I think so. But at least he got to. Didn't have to worry if he'd shit himself because yeah. he was so scared. Did not matter. When's the last time he bathed? Too. You don't know. It had, I do know it had been a while because that was some dirty water. He was a dirty boy. He was a very dirty boy. Well, I mean, hey, you are the chipmunk savior, and that's that's the story of the week for me. That's how I would print the story, the headline, chipmunk savior. It wouldn't be um, man doesn't lose five pounds. That's what it would <laughs> be. <laughs> Fuck you, because that's exactly what happens. I didn't <laughs> lose the five pounds, and I was like, I don't know, you were on I don't the, know how you, you were on that. the scale. Like, oh shit, God damn it! What the fuck? Like, you just you were like, thank I didn't God, get to thank this God that happened because you didn't. I think that was God telling you, hey, it's okay. You got other things to deal with. <laughs> yeah, sure. You didn't. You didn't. Uh, you didn't. Get your goal, but you get you got my goal, and you saved the chipmunk. Yeah, you say, see, what goes around comes around, right? Is that the saying? What? So then, so then next time you're drowning, you'll be saved by a chipmunk, by by a flock. What if this guy like ran away and was like, "We have something, you and I." I would. That's I, a movie that right would there. Be, you and that's and the my chipmunk. next pitch. Yeah, uh, it's. A man saves a chipmunk, and mm-hmm. the chipmunk army comes to his rescue at some point in his life. That's a great And question. helps him start an uprising mm-hmm. in a post-apocalyptic nation like the Hunger Games. Oh. We call this the Toilet Endeavors. The Toilet Endeavors. Yes. I actually really like that. That's good. Thank you. We should continue um, that. But the, here's, here's the catch. Mm-hmm. Um, the only source of water is from toilets. Oh. In this universe. That's a world I wouldn't want to live in. Now, you say that, but have you ever had prison wine? <laughs> well, Lucas, uh, I've never been to prison, so no, I haven't. That's uh, so surprising to me. You seem I know. like... I, I'm someone who you look at and you go, 10 years suspended. at least. Um, <laughs> but It's I, the teardrop tattoo that did it's it. It's the teardrop tattoo, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it's the teardrop tattoo. <laughs> no, but I, I do think that you were a savior. I think the chipmunk movie will would be a fantastic movie. So we could call it um I liked Alvin the toilet and... endeavors. I did. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I mean like the main character. I wanna call him Alvin, but mm-hmm. uh, Yeah, it's not as good. Nah. I feel like I feel like that's been done before. So we we could probably go a different See, that's route. interesting because I don't know how or why we you think that. Or we just we make Simon the main character. Because it's, and that's it's what... always about Alvin. Who's the no Theodore would be my favorite. Yeah, well that's what I'm saying. We make it about Simon because he doesn't get the love. He doesn't get the love. Theodore's the little cute one. Alvin's yeah. the main guy. Simon's just the nerd, you know, that Simon nobody likes. Is the Cole and this Sprouse. is the year of the nerds. Exactly. Cole Sprouse made a big comeback. He's, you know, on that shitty show Riverdale, but like he made a comeback. <laughs> but then it's the age of the nerds, you know? Like yeah. s- nerds are rich. Yes. So nerds are very this rich. This is the time. Hashtag shout out to Bill Gates, mm-hmm. uh, Papa Gates. Yep. I'd love you. Single, singy for the summer, um, <laughs> ready to mingle. Just saying, everyone hit him up. Uh, yep. But speaking, <laughs> that's that's big news. But like that was kind of big news a few weeks ago. Let's get into some big news for today. Um, yeah, the on. biggest thing, and I just cannot. You know what? No, I can believe this. I was going to say I cannot believe this is happening, but I can totally 100% believe this is happening. For everyone that doesn't know, uh, Donald Trump, the big fat orange rat bastard, has created 
his own social media app. And want to know what it's called, Lucas? Aaron. Get her. Fuck. I was worried it'd be sexually harassing, and it is. It is. Go it get is. her. Get her. <laughs> That's what it's called. And you can only say it like that. There's no other way to say it. Get her. Get her. What are you going to say? Get, get, get our, get, get, get her. You're not going to say that. Her. Get her. And that's exactly what it is. <laughs> he was definitely in a room with Larry the Cable Guy. And he was like, oh, can we use, like, get her done? Yeah, go and get her. And uh, I think we, I think we could use get her done, but we'll shorten it. Um, we're not going to, we're not going to put done in there. So it's, no. it's not too sexually um, aggressive. Uh, aggressive. Mm -hmm. I like that you use the accent there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank go you. Get, I'm go starting get her. to starting to get it down living down here in Nashville. She doesn't want to be with you. Go get her. Get her. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be terrible. It's, it's atrocious. Slogan. And but I think we've talked about this before, actually, when we were kind of talking about Donald Trump getting kicked off social media. This might be a brilliant thing because we'll have all the most idiotic people in one spot. Yes. Thank God. We'll know. We'll like, we I would will much know rather him be there. Who's the worst? Like, and we know where he's at, what he's doing. Now, Lucas. Aaron. Do we join this and cause some, cause some problems on this? I already downloaded it. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I'll show you. It's right here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I already got it. We're Get her. Do it. Get her done. Everyone go I'm, on. I'm getting her. I mean, this is just the funniest shit in the world because it's just so stupid. It's beyond stupid. I don't know why anyone would actually do this. But like I said, you could cause some absolute chaos on that app. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It would not even be hard. Mm -mm. Can I can I read to you some of the so there's a people tab. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to read off some of the top people. Perfect. Um, the first one is Black Ops Pete 76. Perfect. That is a guy in his bedroom in Arkansas <laughs> who happened to find an Xbox, not buy one. <laughs> well, that's what he tells the police. I found it. Yeah, I found this. And yeah. they're like, oh, you're fine. Uh, insanity. This man's insane. Perfect. The next one is George Clooney. Oh, he's on there. <laughs> But it says at arrest Trump. So I think he's kind of mm. doing what we're doing. Arrest Trump. Gotcha. Yes. So he's on he's he's on the side of let's start some shit. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> There's this guy. His name's Building Gray. And I, I don't know if you can see this. This is his profile picture. I can't. It is Oh no. It's Trump in a sad clown outfit. <laughs> Now, here's the thing. This is that makes me worried. I feel like it's going to backfire. Like we want to get all the stupid people in one spot. And if all these people are like, "Oh, let's get on." If they all have our idea and they're like, "Get on here and cause some shit." It's not going to be helpful for us. No, but great content. I say we do it anyway. <laughs> let's go. Let's go get her, Aaron. Let's go get her. <laughs> like this is just such a horrible thing to name it because it's like, what are you going to say? Hey, did you get Gitter yet? Did you, did you get Gitter? Did, get did you get Gitter yet? And they're going to be like, did I buy a Gator? No, I did not buy a Gator. Like anyone that you talk to that's not absolutely dumb is going to be like extremely confused. So I like that you thought that somebody with an accent is talking to somebody very reasonable. No, I did not get <laughs> Gator yet. Did you get a guy here yet? I mean, <laughs> no, I did not get. That's get me to when I go yet. ten minutes outside of Nashville. So I mean, <laughs> is it that bad? I mean, it's pretty bad. Do people, people have, have accents? Oh yes. And I it always like it still before. catches me off guard because there are so many people in Nashville that don't, and so you go outside. Yeah, it's got to be a weird. And there's a time. bunch of people with accents, and you're like, oh, like caught. I'm still caught oh, off guard. Have by. you had Have you had that thing happen where? You like you ask for direction, you pull over. Hey, do you know how to get to uh Bows Blues Mom and they go, Yeah, you're gonna just gonna want to take a left down your old outhouse, take a little bit bit of a rat. There's gonna be a circle circle, and you're not gonna want to ignore that after the barnyard. After the, the barnyard. Like you know the one? You know the one down the there? The barnyard. 
Yeah, not red barn. Not a red barn. No, it's it's mainly brown. They didn't. They couldn't afford the red paint. But you'll know. You'll yeah. see it. And actually, the Amish did that back in um, eighteen oh eight for a couple of years there. And mm-hmm. my uncle knew one of the Amish. His name was uh, Uncle Rettenford. Now, Uncle Rettenford. Do you think farmers like the Amish? Yes. Like modern farmers, do you think they like the the Amish? Uh, I I do, think because are they competing? <laughs> Like the farm wars, which I think is a thing, by the way. Is it? I'm farm pretty wars? sure farm is like, com- like of being a farmer is super competitive. I'm going to say they hate them, even though there is clearly no competition. They think there's competition, but yeah. there is no, no, but the you're Amish, using no. And also modern technology. Here's the thing. Have you ever been to an Amish store? No. Lucas. It's just a modern store. What do you mean? I went to, so there's near my grandma's house in Canasota, New York. There is a Amish like store, right? Owned by this Amish family that lives there. It's a store that has electricity, that has like modernized store where you can go in and buy so many things that are clearly just made from a farm and technology like, that they like clearly per, don't like have. Like produced produced items like Yes, like you can like buy like American candy cheese. There. You can buy like candy and shit there. So like what? then how So I really think the Amish have been cheating. I think they're cheating us. They're they're tricking us. Um I feel like they don't actually follow their Amish ways. Um which I don't blame a, them. If I was Amish I'd be like what are we doing, dad? <laughs> Billy has an iPhone and I can't we don't even have a landline. What do you, what are we doing? <laughs> I'd be pissed. So like <laughs> we I I have I have to take mental snapshots of women's ankles. <laughs> and I know John down the street's going online and looking up that shit for free. <laughs> I'm tired of using chalk, ankles? dad. <laughs> I want to use a dry erase board. <laughs> <laughs> because that's off limits. Right? Yeah, try to race boards is off. Limits. They have to use. <laughs> I love the idea that they have to use chalk. I like the idea that they're eating the chalk instead of tums. <laughs> <laughs> like that's a powder. That's the same thing, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. Well, really quickly before we go over to our interview, um, yeah. there is an is it weird that we have to do, and we play is it weird with Spencer. So you know we'll save most of that for that segment. But this is one that we have to do because it is something that's just blowing my mind. What do you got? Is it weird that my mom steals my diagnoses? Um, that is continue? the, the thing. Is there is, more? This is a pretty lengthy thing, so I'm going to try and rip through it. Ready? All right. They start out by saying, to be fair, she is my biological mother, and a lot of these things are genetic. But this is getting nope. weird. Nope. All right, Already go ahead. <laughs> every time I get diagnosed with something, suddenly... Every time. Every time. Already weird. Already uh, weird. I hope you're all right. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> suddenly, every time I get diagnosed with something, suddenly she has it all... Hold on. Oh, suddenly she has the same thing, even though no one can tell, or she has never mentioned it before. I was diagnosed with depression and anxiety. Not to, like, invalidate her mental health, but if she does have that dynamic duo, it is not bad enough to require medication, therapy, or to be noticeable to those around her. It has not significantly impacted her function or quality of life from an outside point of view. She has always had back pain, but today at my doctor's appointment for scoliosis, she she said that she also has scoliosis. Her vision is bad to age, but apparently, she also has a lazy eye. But both of her lenses have the same prescription, and you can't tell. My, la- my lazy eye is really bad. Her <laughs> eye has not drifted in the slightest. And no. She has no corrective surgeries on it. Today, I learned that one of my legs <laughs> is longer than the other. <laughs> Hence, scoliosis. 
What suddenly, is going on? Suddenly she also has this issue. <laughs> I've confirmed with my dad, but this is her first time mentioning this ever. I'm probably forgetting something, but this is ridiculous, is it not? She's not even joking. When I go to the doctor, she always manages to claim that she has another condition that I got from her. And then it just goes a little bit more like saying, like, am I overthinking this? It's not, you know, whatever. Um, um, so much. To yes. Unpack. So much. Yes. To unpack here. Yes. Your mom is wrong. Always. Mm-hmm. I hate her. I love her. She's competitive with you for some reason. And I don't understand. <laughs> I that. know. Lucas, there's so much. I'm trying to, to unpack think. here because, first of all, you you said it. First thing that says every time I get diagnosed, she has a lot of things wrong. There's with a her. lot going on. And I first, feel bad for this lady because she's it, clearly dealing with a lot. My girl, my girl is struggle, struggling. She's struggling right now. She's struggling. Is that? Did you just make that up? I don't know. I'm gonna write it down. It's, struggling it sounds I like real. that. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if it would fly, but struggling sounds good. Thank you. I'm gonna write. I'm down. a. I'm an innovator. Unlike the mom here, who is literally a copycat. She's a copycat. Nobody likes a copycat. It sounds like she's being competitive. Sincerest form of flattery, my ass. That's all I can say. What? Copying is the most sincerest form of flattery. Have you ever heard that? Oh. People who are dumb say that, you know? (laughs) Yes, I've I've talked to these individuals. (laughs) Met one of them? Yeah. I I, I actually... um, Talk, I talk to one just about every day uh, in the mirror. So I talk to I know him. all about I it. Talk, yeah, I talk to one uh, every Thursday around this time. So that's <laughs> you too. You too. That's interesting. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> we both know him. But yeah, this is insane. Like everything about this, like I said, I was telling Lucas before this to everyone listening. Mm-hmm. This just gets worse and worse as you keep reading. Like, first of all, the reason why I don't like this girl, I'm on no one's side. Everyone's oh, not even on the, the no, writer's side. Everyone's a bitch in this fucking scenario. <laughs> Everyone, including the dad. All right. This is the dad's a bitch. Yes, they're the all the dad bitch. was mentioned once. And this is why. And I I bitch is a derogatory term that I shouldn't be using, but I'm furious with this. Okay. <laughs> in so, so many ways. What's First way of number all, one? This is why I don't like the girl who wrote this. Okay. If she, uh, not to invalidate her mental health, but if she does have that dynamic duo, it is not bad enough to require medication, therapy, or to be noticeable to people around her. Yeah, I didn't like that either. That's not for her to decide. That is not for her to decide. That is incredibly just terrible to say about someone <clears throat> that could possibly be struggling with depression yeah. and anxiety. You don't know. You have no clue. You have it's, no idea. Especially the people you think are fine. The physical all, all ailments are much more um, likely to see, and you can actually, like, you know, kind of gauge what if this person is your mom is copying right. you or not. Yeah. Well, you have here's no the idea. Here's the thing, um, Aaron. We do know she has a lazy eye, so she might not be able to accurately see if her mom That's true. has these ailments like lazy eye herself. That's she might very not true. Know. What That's if they're looking true. in the same direction with both of their lazy eyes? They might just like that's a normal eye. That's possible. I just they I have so much. How wrong lazy with them. is her eye? And they how so how hard working is her mother's eyes? And I just love that it's like my, her eye is not lazy enough. <laughs> like her <laughs> eye has not drifted <laughs> in the slightest. Like her eye does not smoke enough pot to be considered a lazy <laughs> eye. And I learned that, like, I learned today that one of my legs is longer than the other. So, like, what is, what, what is happening? That? How do you not know that? And I learned. think this is why the dad's a bitch. Because she said, I confirmed with my dad, but this is her first time mentioning this ever. The dad is clearly just like, oh, yeah, he's a yes man. He's like, yeah, mm. for sure. And then the mom probably comes to him and he's probably like, oh, yeah, you're right. He's a yes man. Well, it sounds like sounds like to be with this woman, you have to be. He's got to be okay with lazy eyes and scoliosis. I mean, that's a lot. This man, this man has probably 
probably is just happy to have mm-hmm. lazy eye suit. What's her I name? I will never make fun of scoliosis. I will never make fun of mental health, but I will always make fun of a lazy eye. Ten times out of ten. Why where why do you draw this the line between scoliosis and lazy? A lazy eye, eye is just funny. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just is. <laughs> But scoliosis, not It's fun. not a bad thing. I don't care if you have one. It's just funny. <laughs> and I stand by that. <laughs> Aaron, these poor people with the lazy eyes. I know. It's How bad. would you like to have a lazy eye? Oh, I would hate it. I, I think I would rather it. have scoliosis than a lazy eye. Though. <laughs> that's bad. I mean, that's really... I don't know about that. I think I'd rather have really? a lazy eye. Yeah, because it's funny. That's funny. It could be funny to you still. I, I, okay. I obviously wouldn't like it, but knowing that I gave other people joy by seeing my lazy eye and just laughing at it, like that's amazing. Have you ever laughed at a person with lazy eyes? No, 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 no. But I've always looked so at then, a, I've always looked at a lazy eye and gone, <laughs> okay, that's there. And then later on, just go, <laughs> lazy eye. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I'm not the only one. <laughs> I also think lazy eyes are funny. Thank I you. Agree. I agree. Thank you. But I think it's funnier that you think you would rather have a lazy eye than scoliosis. It is. I don't know about that. I feel like scoliosis is so much worse. You'd be in Well, pain. scoliosis can be not that bad. It, you can well, have, like, it can really be, but scoliosis. also like it could be really bad. And I feel like a lazy it eye is just really there. Bad. Yeah, and a lot of times you can get it fixed. Yes. Yeah, you can have like surgeries and shit. Yeah. But back to this. Everyone here is the worst. Yeah, I don't like anybody here. This is a bad family. Um, the mother I'm is most just on the daughter's doing side. some sort of manipulative something, just playing games with the daughter's head. The yeah. daughter's like doesn't have any regard for her mom's mental health, <laughs> and the dad is just a yes man. So like, which is clear that he kind of has to be in this. In there's this a scenario. lot to unpack. Because I bet, I bet there's a re- I bet the reason that this daughter has anxiety and depression is the mom. Probably, uh, and I'm and I bet the dad ain't doing shit about it. Mm-hmm. So, so that's tough. This whole family, weird, weird, one hundred. This is one of the weirder ones. Weird and unhealthy. This might be one of the weirdest ones we've ever seen. Besides, the, I think so. The um, the uh, chocolate chips one. The chocolate chips one was what else? That was, was number one. one. This might be number two. And this is my number two. Aaron, I you know, I know I like what you said about the lazy. I think you know what did make me laugh. In a similar way, recently, what is I was in I was somewhere, mm-hmm. um, I was at somebody's po- somebody's house I don't remember, and they had a portrait of Ronald Reagan, okay, on their wall. I know exactly. I can picture the type of person's house you were in, and I laughed to myself uncontrollably because I was like, "You don't know, <laughs> you don't. There's no way you understand." How horrible this man is. If you're going to put a fucking portrait of the guy on your fucking wall. Yeah. I, I, I'm not political, but, but I, I think he's a, it made me laugh. It made me, yeah. it was so ridiculous. It made it's me laugh. absolutely crazy that people will just like put up a huge poster. Of, I, I just, of Ronald um, Reagan. people, one of my least there's, well, that's, the th- there's reasons why like, and I feel like so many like people just don't know about it just being like, you know, the Reaganites, you know, like the the boomers that love Reagan. Alexa! It's just like Stop <sighs> What a bitch. <laughs> she hates me. I hate her too. I'm gonna have to divorce her. <laughs> soon. Oh my god. You and know what? Soon. I think well, <laughs> we gotta end on that. The Reaganites suck. These people suck for them. Is, is it weird? Everyone sucks, but you know who doesn't suck? Spencer Hendricks. It was an amazing, <laughs> amazing interview with him. Yes. Thank you for coming on, Spencer. Stick around Thank for that, you, and we will see you next week. All right, everyone. Today we have Spencer Hendricks on. Thank you so much for being here. You probably know him from his most recent single, Moonlight. Uh, thank you for coming on. How are you? How are things out in L.A.? Thanks for having me, man. This is sick. Uh, things are good. Things are really good. I just got back out to L.A. probably like three days ago. So it's nice being back in the sunshine and the warm weather. It's so it's so you just can't beat it. It's so Were you far away? Are you jet lagged? No, (laughs) I uh, I, dude, I was actually in New York uh, 
Oh wow! Three nice. days ago, funny nice. enough. What were we doing so, in New York? I just had. Uh, I was visiting my sister. She was there in Brooklyn. So oh nice. See the little thing. Yeah. That's fine. Now I saw a, a private jet on your Instagram. Is this related? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that's my new private jet. <laughs> <laughs> nah, <laughs> like a couple five dollars probably yeah right? yeah yeah easy like that yeah, easy it's something like that yeah. yeah yeah no i was i was working with uh my buddies and uh we had to be in orlando for this gig oh, and they were like uh and they're like yo we can just fly you down and th- they i guess they had a lot more money than <laughs> <laughs> i do so <laughs> don't have a private jet dude those wow. things are like you know it's like they were saying it's like four four thousand dollars per hour just in fuel so like you have the jet and then you i was like dude that is that is too much not everything the pilot and yeah yeah the food the the how how much it costs to store the plane at the airport it's just like yeah, food. Bro. I saw you had some Sammies. How are, the, how are those sandwiches? <laughs> Man, <laughs> sandwiches taste better on a private jet for some reason. I don't know what it is. <laughs> That's good to know. I'm going to have to remember that. <laughs> was, it like, yeah. was it like a really comfortable ride too? Or was it like just... A- it was... Yeah, it was okay. awesome. It was nice. just... It was just... I mean, I fly like... So sick. I fly commercial all the time. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, like, I saw it in your uh, thing. It was like... I'm so used to flying spirit, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. which is amazing that you're even here. If you fly, spirit. I know, dude. <laughs> right? Yeah, barely. There's no wings on those planes. I yeah, swear, there's not, not at all. <laughs> you played it a was... gig? Huh? You played a gig? Where? We went to a gig in Orlando. Oh uh, no! I so we just did it. We just did a job. It was just uh, oh, more okay, on the okay. production production side of things, which is gotcha. my. I also cool. do that. So okay, cool. Yeah. Well, let's just let's hop right into talking about your new single. So Moonlight. It came out on June twenty fifth. So literally last weekend. Um, this is kind Crazy. of perfect timing for you to hop on the podcast with us to talk about this. Um, yeah. It's a very very good song. Very different from your uh, most recent song. Um, feeling our best i feel like that one was more acoustic kind of mellow and this one is is more dance kind of pop like upbeat um what was like that emotional shift and especially the production of this song from from feeling our best to moonlight how did that shift in your head while you were like creating that transition well i've always so i've always created a whole bunch of different music Mm -hmm. so i just I don't know, feeling our best. It was just kind of a more sentimental song for me. So I was like, hmm, what's the best way to get this emotion across? And it was acoustic. And I I mean, I'm a guitar player. Yeah. Like, you know, I do that kind of production. And my old band was actually more folky, like a long time ago. Okay. So I was like, I still love doing that, uh, that music. So I kind of just put myself in that space for feeling our best, which was so fun. And then, uh, but, and then, I also like to dance and I like to have fun yeah. and yeah. St- and I like product like big production. I love Coldplay, you know, oh. stuff like that. Yeah, who doesn't love Coldplay? I was good. Yeah, Coldplay is the best. <laughs> <laughs> so so you know, and I I play like all the instruments. So I just like I like it's just a playground. And so for that one, I just had some catchy melodies and I really wanted to bring some serious life into like my Spotify page and just yeah. everything. So it was a lot of fun to write that one. It was yeah. very, it was it's, long. It's such it a fun. good, like upbeat and, you know, fun song. Um, but what would, how would you describe it emotionally lyric wise? Like, cause I feel like there are some more, um, not necessarily serious, but more like emotional parts of the song and the lyrics, but they don't necessarily, uh, they're kind of contradicted sometimes by the upbeat happiness of the, of the feeling of the song. So, right. um, how would you describe the song emotionally then? So one of my favorite things to do is to, for some reason, I've always loved this is having a happy song, happy feeling song, but the lyrics are kind of melancholy, Mm -hmm. sad. And I think it really, if it's a weird feeling you get, but it's kind of addicting. Yeah. And so it's very Charlie um, Puth esque. No. Yeah. 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 I I love Charlie Puth. Yeah. He's fantastic. But uh, yeah. So for that one, it was just kind of, it was just kind of maybe, I don't know. It just kind of fit for me. It was kind of celebrating this like experience that I had in a way. And even though it was, I feel like every experience would take like some positivity out of it. So it was kind of like, you know, that happened. It was just, it was a, it was a fun one. Yeah. Nice. Well, 
I feel like, and I don't know if this was just me from listening to it. I feel like there was, I was listening to it. I felt like it was like a One Republic song. I don't know if that oh, was, appreciate that. if that was a, um, an influence on this. Were there specific influences and artists that you pulled from for this song? Um, yeah, I'd say, I'd say I, I pulled a little bit from Foster the People. Nice. Okay. Love Foster oh, the People. Kicks. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Love it. Uppy and then uh bitter, uh, lyric thing yeah. going on for sure. yeah. yeah i'm it's i'm really such a long. fan of theirs they're, yeah, they're great really good. um and then I, like uh you know i love the 1975 and i was like oh, i kind of mm-hmm. i want kind of want to do like a riff like that like yeah. and so uh yeah. so we had that and um yeah and then the bridge for some reason i just kind of wanted to go off on the bridge just had something to- totally different and yeah. uh so i went very dark like movie tribal esque yeah. stuff. Yeah. So you know it was- I like that though because I feel like and I Lucas, we've talked about this on the podcast. Bridges are like not used yeah. in the way that bridges should be used anymore. I feel yeah. like so many times it's just like, oh let's just do the chorus twice. Or like let's mm. like we can just do like a little melody over the top and then go right into it instead of like you know, because the age of guitar solos is it's still kind of around but it's not as prominent. Yeah, so right. like oh when you're able to yeah. take a song and go into a bridge that is completely like out there and just, you know, not at all what you're expecting. I think that's mm. fucking awesome. I think that's so cool. I yeah. love that. That's one of my it's favorite things. It's kind of fun. Because you have an excuse. Because like you did the song and like you kind of, and you did it. For, obviously, we make music for ourselves. But like, wh- I feel like with bridges, you get an extra opportunity to really dig into what you like or like what you kind of yeah. want to mm-hmm. experiment it's with. It's very true. Yeah. Um, yeah. I love hearing that. Hundred percent. Yeah. yeah, I think bridges should should take you somewhere totally different, mm-hmm. like kind of same kind of theme, but just I mean that's the break from the rest of the song and just yeah. keep it interesting and yeah, I I love that stuff. Nice. And so, so with with all of this like production stuff that went into this song, did did you produce everything yourself? So I produced probably a ton of it. Okay. I had my buddy, uh, his name's Jaron Tackage, mm-hmm. and he's a amazing producer out here in L.A um good friend of mine he uh he's from the band Satikoy. i don't know if you've ever heard of them i haven't heard i'll have to check them out great great band you, you like them a lot okay. but um but yeah he produced uh he helped me produce some of it more on the drum production side of it okay and he's just really good at just like the ear candy stuff so we we always work together and i love working with him on stuff and then um i went to i worked with vocals the vocal production with this guy uh his name is miklos malek okay and he was, he's actually, uh, he was a judge on the X Factor in Hungary. Oh, and he's just, in Hungary, it, whoa. Wow. Yeah, I know, it was like so, but he's, he's just, uh, he's like, he's just phenomenal. Like one of the, one of the best producers I've ever worked with. So, I mean, between the three of us, and then I wrote it with this guy, Jack Ellis, with lyrics. And then this other guy, Sam Welch, did some of the music. And, um, you know, I just, for this one, I just kind of wanted to get everybody together. And you, I feel like you can feel that in the music. Like, it's yeah. just kind of, it's this huge song. And yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, a lot went into it. and A lot of different minds went into it. So For sure. it was fun. So when you're working on, you know, songs with other people, there's, you know, you're kind of getting into this mode in your brain where you have to kind of put yourself back a little bit, right? You can't necessarily be the person that has to do everything, but there are musicians mm-hmm. that think that way. So do, what are your thoughts on collaboration? How important is it to a process of a song and your experiences with that? Well, I just, I kind of have this thing, like as long as you're having fun in music, you're on the right track. And so okay. mm-hmm. that's really, it's a simple way to put it. But, uh, for this one, I just wanted, I think collaboration is important because it challenges you mm-hmm. in, in ways yeah. that you, and makes you think, and I, I think you should surround yourself with people that are better than you and then you'll go up to there and then yeah. eventually you'll be good as well. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, if it's a really sad sentimental song, I like to kind of stay by myself, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. and just like really feel it. But if it's like a fun song, like Moonlight, mm-hmm. um, and we're all like, we all like the same music. Like, yeah. let's let's make some, let's make a crazy piece of art, and let's just bounce off yeah. each other's ideas. And yeah, I mean, so I think collaboration is can come in handy for sure. But don't, I wouldn't use it all the time. Okay. Did you go into Moonlight thinking you were gonna collaborate with it, or was no it- idea? <laughs> no. 
<laughs> I had it all like I had it all done everything and uh and I was like, "Hey Jaron, what do you think you can do with this?" And he was like, "Oh, let's go." And so he just did some some stuff and uh I was like, "Oh, this is sick. Let's keep let's 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 do some more stuff with this." And yeah. uh I mean, he he did a, he did a good job and just uh I mean, the lyrics uh was J- with Jack Ellis and me and mm-hmm. he's 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 really like we like to bounce off. It's fun to uh, collaborate with him on lyrics too. So so okay. we did that and uh, yeah, nice. Well, that's awesome. I, did um did has it crossed your mind to do an acoustic version of Moonlight? Because I think it would Ooh. be pretty awesome. I was listening to it and I was like, this is an awesome song. This is amazingly produced. But I also think it would be a really hmm. cool to do an acoustic version. And since you already, like your last song, Feeling Our Best was acoustic, you clearly know what you're doing when it comes to acoustic <laughs> music. So like, I feel like you could do it, you know? That'd be interesting. Yeah, I haven't really thought about that because it's just been production, production, production. Right. Mm. Um, yeah, that'd be cool. Maybe like a more sentimental version of it mm. and like really bring the sad emotion out of those lyrics. Yeah. I think that'd be, yeah. That'd be cool. It would be definitely cool. I mean, just a thought, throwing it out there. But, that's um, cool man i might do that i might do that okay thank you that's yeah, a good no idea <laughs> um, <laughs> but i do you ever get caught in this uh thought process of kind of like it needs to be heavy production or something like that or do you feel like you're really good at serving the song oh it's tough right yeah it's, it's tough when you get caught um, yeah. yeah um so i think the best producers in the world know when to stop so just like, uh, I mean, if all the song needs is just some snaps, yeah. then then they don't do anything else. That's where really good production comes in, making a lot out of a little bit. Yeah, it's so, hard though. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> and that's where like mi- learning how to mix your stuff kind of comes into play because you can do you can do more with less, and yeah. you can make the so- the the certain sounds pop and fill more space. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it's super easy to get caught with that because i mean music you can just keep honestly you could keep going with production forever with a song you know you Mm -hmm. can never stop like oh you you can always add another piano part or something Mm -hmm. even i mean it won't sound as good as it could be but yeah you could (laughs) yeah yeah exactly and that's kind of the important part of collaboration as well you know just getting other people's ears on it to be like this yeah you know could it this is maybe it needs more maybe it doesn't maybe it needs less um, yeah that's super important as well um, Espe- yeah especially if you've been sitting on a song for a while too and it's kind of like mm-hmm. you just you have have you guys heard of demoitis yes yeah yes yeah. yes i'm <laughs> so, riddled with it <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah me too i feel like everyone is yeah <laughs> it's it's horrible horrible disease yeah but yeah. uh yeah so it's really it really comes in handy if you have demoitis and people can be like hey no you yeah. have demoitis yeah. shut up do you have a lot of songs <laughs> that are currently uh, causing you to have demoitis right now? Of course, bro. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> I think everybody does. Yeah. So, yeah, you just got to, like, do a save as and just kind of produce uh, yeah. mm-hmm. in a totally different direction to get out of it or some. There's a lot of different ways. It's, it's yeah, it's, it can yeah. be tough, though, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, so, I guess kind of moving forward with your music, what is next? What is, is this like part of an EP that you're creating? Are you doing an album? Are you just going to be doing singles? What's kind of the, the end goal for this, this kind of style you're starting? So right now, um, singles, I'm in a singles game right now until I can, cause I just have so many ideas that I just kind of want to get out. Gotcha. They're kind of, I mean, there's going to be a lot of, um, pop songs, acoustic songs. There's my next song is like very like piano song. Okay. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, there's like, there's some darker songs coming up too, like more minor key, which is okay. like okay. more. I love more, a good minor key. I'm yeah. Like, so, I'm <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, my, one of my biggest influences was like Linkin Park. Okay. Like the, yeah. Believe it. So like the, like, oh. uh, I wouldn't have some, made that connection. I Nobody does. That. So that's why I need to put a song out like yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. I need to put a song out like that. So yeah. but just there's just I just love making a ton of music. So I just wanna yeah. it's all gonna be like the same kind of style in a way. Mm-hmm. But uh yeah, just kind of singles. I like for that. the next for the foreseeable future, yeah. And with um Moonlight, is there anything new coming out with Moonlight? 
so there is a music video for it coming out in one week. So okay. that would be July 9th. July 9th. July 9th music video. And so I saw some yeah. pictures. And are these pictures from this music video coming out? Uh, Above the, on the rooftop. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. Right. I don't. <laughs> the little. I don't know if you saw the little. Anything. But, I mean, it looks. <laughs> Man, you're good. You know all my tricks. <laughs> like the the little canvas thing behind the Spotify song. That was all clips from the music video. So. Oh. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah, and the music video was done by this this uh this group that I have out here, but it's led by uh this girl Nikki Rodriguez. And she's okay. just, she's phenomenal when it comes to music videos. So we nice. just, we worked on it for, we've been working on it since like March and uh, it's finally coming out and we are really proud of this one. So I think, yes. I think you guys will like it. Yeah. I was going to say, you've been, awesome. you've been teasing it for a while. On, on I, yeah. So like, I'm very <laughs> excited for it. I'm excited for the release for sure. Um, Sweet. And it's like when creating the music video were you kind of like asked like what do you want it to be or was it like was it also a collaborative um effort um it was collaborative but with nikki like i gave her like parameters or certain things that i want but i was like i like i like going to people and using their talent to their full potential i just i don't like i don't like i don't want her to feel if she has an idea i don't want her to feel held back at all so i'm like Mm -hmm. nikki go just do your thing yeah and yeah. so she and I, I love that and so she she met with her like all the people that she works with and mm-hmm. she did a i mean what i was she created i was like yo this fits the song so well i'm super happy with this That's so awesome. this whole thing has been so collaborative and i think some yeah. of the best stuff that comes out is collaborative nice so i feel like like that kind of goes the same with anything in the world like if you don't know how to do something or you aren't like the best in the room about it like i'm gonna hire a professional to fix my sink like i'm not gonna go fix my sink you know yeah like, yeah I, I would want it done really well and so like if i'm you know working with someone collaborating with them like that's the whole point is that you want it done well and yeah i think that's huge and some people have trouble seeing that mindset sometimes it is it is easy it is tough when it comes into a creative setting you know because yeah. like egos can get in the way and stuff For and sure. everything yeah. But um, yeah, I, th- I think you're right. Like, just there's there's other people that have studied like drums. So like, hey, why don't yeah. you collaborate on drums so your final product is better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's yeah. not there's not one people doing a movie. You know, there's a exactly. ton of people there's making so good many movies. people. There's no so there's never like, one writer in the room. You know, no, exactly. Whereas sometimes with music, there is only one writer, and I feel like that that should change for a lot of people that kind of think that way, and their ego is too big for them to. Yeah. Allow other people and other musicians in. If you yeah. Too much. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, so new song out right now, Moonlight. Um, everyone go stream it and make sure you get ready for this music video. We have Woo! we have a little game that we play on this show if oh, you would like to man. um to play it with us. So this is called Bring it on. It's called Is It Weird? And we have <laughs> We have people write in and ask us questions like, is it weird that I do this or my friend does this? And we tell them what we think um, if we think it's weird. Right. So uh, right. I'm going to ask you the question. And then there's usually like a little description. So I'll read that and then we'll, okay. we'll discuss. So the first okay. one is, is it weird to say I'm addicted to laughing? Not those small chuckles, those really big belly laughs when you can't breathe. Tears, tears roll down your face, your stomach cramps up, those kind of laughs. I love those so much, and I dream of the day I can do those again. I love that. That's like, that's so sweet. <laughs> that's such an okay. innocent. It is a very I, innocent thing. I agree. That's sweet. Um, that's my favorite feeling. So I'd say that's not weird. Really? Okay. I always yeah. like to, Lucas and I like to get, get really we deep like into them. In. And I just. Oh, let's go. I feel like specifically the last line and it threw off Lucas as well. I could tell by his face. Um, I dream of the day I can do those again. And that makes me nervous for this person because it's make me feel like they, she, what is, they don't laugh. <laughs> like they're, they don't they're laugh. rarely laughing and that's not a good that's thing. That's true. We don't that's want that true. to happen. So yeah. I, I don't know if it's weird. It's kind of, I'm a little concerned, but cause I agree. I think it's, a genuine just like oh i just want to like laugh and like have a good time and which is like, yeah great it's thing. the best feeling i i 100 agree when you like 
stomach hurts from laughing. Like at the end of dude. the day, you're like, I had a fantastic day. Dude, awesome. best feeling. <laughs> yeah, but this person, this person needs some laughs. So yeah, I think yeah, it's not weird. Yeah. They need to, they need to watch not this weird. podcast. They need to get some laughs. They need to watch something. this podcast. <laughs> exactly. Yes, they need exactly. To, they need to go listen to Moonlight. They need to go have a, have a smile. They need to have a dance. They're laugh. Are they laughing at Moonlight? Yeah, well, that song like sucks. <laughs> This is the worst song. <laughs> <laughs> They're not laughing. He, he, he got me there. He, he got me there. But I think they just need to go listen to it and, you know, damn, have and a good to time. feel happy. To yeah. Feel happy. Feel happy. Yes, I agree. I agree. Because I feel like nope. with laughter comes happiness, right? Yes, I agree. I agree. But definitely. I hear, my, worry, my worry for them is that they say they're addicted. Now, yeah. how do you get addicted to belly laughs? That's my question. Yeah. You ever, you ever meet those people that laugh at everything you say? I'm thinking that this is, they're trying to like, they're trying oh. to find some high. They're like, <laughs> this high. Could be this. Like laughing at people saying, yeah, my mom died yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Just really people who, can, who okay? awkward laugh. And it's like, that's not. Yeah, that's what I just did. Yeah, that's yeah. a bad time to laugh. But that's not a that's not a full laugh. That's not one from the stomach, you know. True. That's no. not that's a fake. That's like up here. That's like you're laughing up here, and that's not a fun one. I right. feel like you. The belly. I, yeah, I feel like people can get caught laughing like that too much, and they miss the genuine laugh. I'm getting deep, guys. You got me going. Yeah. No, I mean that's what we do with this. <laughs> weird. We get deep into them, and we see, you know, what we think. So I think in general, not weird. General, not weird, but we would yeah. need a little more description for it yeah. for us to make a, yeah. a real decision here. Um, yes. So we'll do one more here. Um, <laughs> this one is: Is it weird if I give a flower to a girl I've never met? And so they start this off by saying, "Hear me out," which is never good. Um, <laughs> oh God! They say, "Hear me out." There's this girl down the street from me who is very cute. I'd like to let her know as I'd like to let her know as much without coming on too strong. Weird phrasing. The plan is to put a flower on her car with a note containing my phone number. If it's weird, please provide an alternative. I have, I already have the flower. So oh, why is she? Are, oh my God. <laughs> too late. <laughs> this is very weird, but this is killing me. This is so funny. Just that. <laughs> Dude, the, uh, oh, please offer it. an alternative, but like I already bought the flower. So. I already bought the flower. <laughs> I don't know. I already got it. Maybe go buy that, a, buy a vase. That's so funny. <laughs> is it just one flower? Not even a bouquet. It's just one <laughs> I flower. I think it's just one, one flower. It's probably a dandelion they found like on the. Oh floor. man! <laughs> if that first person wants something to laugh at, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> meet up with I the mean, yeah, here this we go. Is <laughs> absolutely an insane idea because Dude. not only. I like I'm having a hard time thinking of a time that this would be a cute thing to do. But like the note, if it just says like if it's just a number, that's so oh, that's creepy. So creepy. Uh, that's creepy. And, yeah, you can't do that. And getting you a like note on your stuff. car that's not a ticket is creepy in general. Who yes. knows that that's your car? Uh, and yes. they know you're gonna oh. see it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Look weird. like you don't know who it's from. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I, I think at least it's still weird, but like at least like go up to the door or something. You got to meet them in person, right, guys? Like, right, exactly. Something or slide into the DMs. Slide into the DMs. It's just do that. That's very Tried easy to true. do. Just go. Yes. Do that. Um, yes. Yeah, but as an alternative, keep the flower. It's probably a very keep nice the flower. flower. Get a vase. <laughs> you know, the one flower. Some soil, if you have to. I don't know what what kind of flower oh. it is. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Definitely keep the flower. Even it creepier. could probably live Even a creepier, while. plant the flower outside their house. Since apparently you know where they live. Yeah, oh. give them an even. <laughs> oh, I don't like oh, that. Man. Oh, man. Oh. No. <laughs> yeah. This is, just imagine oh walking God. outside this is with a, weird. a new flower. Yeah. And I also oh just don't like, if you start anything with hear me out, you know it's already it's weird. bad. You've Done. already made the decision in your head that this is a bad decision to make. So you're like, yeah. Let me out. Let me let me speak about how crazy this is. And so then... I know I'm making a mistake. Yeah. But tell me <laughs> yeah. why. Yes. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell me why I'm not. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. No. Other people have told me no. Like. <laughs> <Right>. yeah. <laughs> All right. So That's I funny. Guess, yeah, we'll say it's definitely weird for this one. Right? Definitely 100%, 100% weird. weird. Throw, away Throw away the flower. Get that Don't out of your head. Yeah, That's so funny. Just pick something else to do with your time. <laughs> Anything. <else. laughs> this, is, this is gay. Too. Oh, man. Uh, well, hey. Spencer, that's a fun game. That's funny. Thank you. Thank cool? you for playing with us. Thank you for coming on <laughs> yeah. the show. We really appreciate it. Moonlight is out now. Please go stream it. It's on every streaming service everywhere. And make sure you're ready for that music video for Moonlight that comes out later this week, July 9th, correct? 
July 9th. Awesome. So make sure you go check him out. Go follow him on Instagram, TikTok. And uh, thank you so much again for coming on. This has been great. We really yeah, appreciate thanks, it. Spencer. Thank you so much, guys, for having me. This is sick. This is thank sick. You. This is a cool setup. All right. Yeah. Man. Well, thank you again, and we will see you soon. All right. Peace out, guys. Bye. See ya.